The force of this waterline break is amazing. You can see behind me this worker. He's standing on the edge of what used to be a road. Now it's more like a waterfall overlook. The street was washed out, and thousands of people woke up without water this morning. The roar of rushing water gave Ron Disher the first clue that there might be something really wrong outside his home. It sounded like a uh, uh, Niagara Falls. I thought, boy, that's unusual. You know, that must really be raining hard. Then walk down here and here the roads, the whole roads blown out. About 20 feet of Brook Street was torn apart when a 42 inch main broke in a somewhat remote part of Brookline, and thousands of people across the South Hills, like Shirley Sunik, got up to find their taps totally dry. See? It's no water at all. I'm going to make coffee. I'm going to take my pills. My husband took a bucket of water out of his swimming pool. To do what with? To flush the toilet. Pen American Water can't say exactly how many customers lost their water, but they're spread over a huge area, including Mount Lebanon, Baldwin, Green Tree, and many neighborhoods in Pittsburgh, like Brookline, where some rushed to get bottled water just in case. I just I bought a couple before I left to work tonight. Just I don't know how long it's going to be off for, so I figured stock up a bit. Pittsburgh stocked up as well, sending tanker trucks to the fire station in Brookline to be sure there would be enough water in case of emergency. Now, this comes on the same day many Penn American workers demonstrated in protest after going on strike earlier this week, but the company believes that is just a coincidence. We have no reason to believe that the strike has had any um, effect on the level of um, service we're able to provide, nor are we able to believe that there is any reason that. Um, the worker strike had any um, effect on the, the main break itself or the cause of the main break. For now, contractors are doing the repair work for Pin American, getting water restored and replacing the busted pipe. Many customers have been getting their water back, but full restoration of service probably won't happen until later this afternoon. Reporting in Brookline, Bob Hayes in Pittsburgh's Action News 4.